In this video, we will describe compilers and its different types. Furthermore, we will also learn about interpreters. Subsequently, we will compare interpreters and compilers to know which one is better in which scenario. So let's start with the definition of compilers. Compiler is a program that takes input code written in one language and translate that code into another language. The input code is referred to as source code and the output code is referred to as target code. Let's make the block diagram of compiler. So our input is a programming language code which we refer to as source code and our output is code in another language which we refer to as target code. However, usually people don't refer to compiler as a program that can take input in any language and can produce output in any other language, even though that's a correct definition. People refer to the compiler as a program that takes input in a high level language and produce output in assembly language. So typically, we use this definition of compiler where our input is a high level language and our output is a low level language which is usually assembly. Afterwards, compiler invoke another program known as assembler that takes input the assembly code and produces machine code. The reason compiler usually does not produce assembly code by themselves is because there already exist many well-written assemblers that can do this job for them. So instead of making the compiler more complicated, compiler just called an assembler and produce the machine code. So let's make the block diagram of an assembler. Input to the assembler is assembly code. and the output to the assembler is machine code. If we consider the actual definition of compiler, where a compiler takes input, programmed in any language, and can translate that program into any target language, then assembler is also a subcategory of a compiler. However, in actuality, we will never refer an assembler as a compiler. Similarly, there are many other types of compilers which are usually not referred to as compiler. For instance, 
we have decompiler. that takes input a low level language code and it outputs high level language code. It is called decompiler because its operation is opposite as compared to this definition of compiler where it is converting high level language code to low level language code. However, according to this definition, this is also a type of compiler because compiler can take any language and convert it to any other language. We also have transpiler. A uh, transpiler takes input, a uh, high level language code and translate that code into another high level language code. Transpiler is also a subcategory or a type of compilers. Interpreters are different as compared to compiler. Interpreters are not subcategory of compiler. An interpreter sequentially take a statement from the source code, translate that statement and executes it. Then subsequently it takes the next statement from the source code and execute it. So here is the block diagram of interpreter. So we have source code here. and interpreter takes a line of code from a here or a statement and then it executes that statement afterwards the interpreter takes the next line of code from the source code and this process continues until the whole program is executed. So compiler takes whole code, translate it into target code. Interpreter takes line by line different instructions, interprets them and execute them in sequence. Now the important question, can we compare interpreters and compilers? Which one is better and when? Let's do that. So on the left hand side, I will write properties and pros and cons of compilers, whereas on the right hand side, I will write interpreter pros and cons. Number one, compiler's input is the whole source code. So here we have whole source code as our input. In contrast, interpreter takes input, a line of code and translate it. So it is line by line translation. Secondly, compilers are significantly faster, many times faster as compared to interpreter. That means the execution of the code is faster when we have translated that code into low level language as compared to if we take a line of code, execute it and then take another line of code and execute it because we have overhead of translating each line of code. Compilers, we don't have overhead. We have a compile time 
which is done once and then the same code can be executed multiple times without any overhead. Whereas in case of interpreter, we have to interpret that code every time when we want to execute it. So compilers are faster, interpreters are slower, and also in this case, we have to just compile once, whereas here we have to interpret the code every time when we want to execute it. Similarly, compiled program takes less RAM as compared to interpreted programs. So compilers are faster, take less RAM, then why we like interpreter and why we want to use interpreter at least in some cases. Number one, we want to use interpreter is because some people likes their debugging style. Compiler tries to find all the errors in the code. And in order to do that, it has to make some assumptions. So because of those assumptions, the errors reported by compiler might not be exact or precise. So compiler report all errors or try to report all errors in the code whereas interpreter stop working at the first line of code which it cannot interpret so it reports the exact error at that line it's report first error and stops there but people like it because uh, this error is much more precise and we know exactly what's wrong with this line of code we can fix it so for debugging some people like interpreter However, the main reason many people prefer interpreter over compiler is portability. As compiler translate the code to low level code, this code is no more portable. So if we go to some other platform which has different hardware and different reporting system, our low level code might not execute in that platform. In contrast, interpreted code will run on any platform that has that interpreter because interpreter is translating that code on fly. So compilers are less portable. That means their code is less portable. And interpreted code is more portable. Well, these are the key differences between compilers and interpreter. For some cases, when you have a device which has less RAM or you will like to make your program run faster, you must use compiler. In contrast, when portability on different devices is required, you should prefer interpreter. How interpreter? is much slower as compared to compiler. So people have developed a new program known as just-in-time compiler, which has some of the benefits of interpreter and some of the benefits of compiler. We will discuss just-in-time compiler in the next video. Stay tuned.